Welcome back to Raw Card. Uh, today we'll be opening up a Dungeons and Dragons uh, Adventures of the Forgotten Realm pre release pack. Uh, when was this released like last year? Maybe a year or two ago? I can't remember. So, this is an idea that I had for um the channel of where i would open up one of these we could have a look inside and then possibly um do a bit of a draft that's that's the front of it inside we get oh, that's pretty nice a foil orb of dragon kind. Is there another one? There's a couple of cards in there. We might open that at the end. Get a couple of foil tokens. Those are nice. Goblin, are they double sided? Yeah, they are. The goblin, skeleton, the a truffle. Those up there. So I'll open up this thing that we got with it. Xenathar's Guide to Dungeons. So I think this was the first set. And that just kind of explains how to build uh, a pre-release deck. So I think it's quite similar to Draft, except you have all of the packs. All of the packs come in it already. So we'll have a look what we get. Looks like a separator card. Bit of spare cardboard. The box itself, I believe, is meant to contain everything, but we get a die. 20 sided D20 countdown. Is that it? That's the dragon there. Yeah. Put that over there. That's good. And then you get six draft boosters um so as it kind of explains if no one has done a draft before that's watching you kind of want to build around uh, the amount of cost obviously one two three four five six plus 17 lands 40 cards so i have read some stuff that say uh, pre-release decks should be three colors um, I guess that's really what you get. Normal drafting pods work differently, but I do like the idea of getting six packs and building it from that. So I'm just going to move this other stuff over. Move it in. So the box is off to the side and we'll start opening up packs. I was thinking because you do get 30 minutes um, to build a deck when you're in a competition so i might try something a bit shorter than that I might try 15 minutes after we open it all up see how i feel uh, but let's start first one we'll obviously just read through them uh, normally like we do so we've got spare dagger Shambling Ghast, Scaled Herbalist, Gloom Stalker, Scion of Stygia, Hoarding Ogre, Fane Death, Zombie Ogre, Mimic, Charmed Sleep, 50 feet of rope. You happen on a glade. Might separate those actually. Like we usually do. Burning hands. And then we have a Minsk Beloved Ranger. Three color. 
when Minsk enters the battlefield, create Boo, a legendary 1 1 hamster to trample and haste. Then you can pay X until end of turn, target creature you control has base power and toughness XX and becomes a giant in addition to its other types. Activate it only as a sorcery. Pretty good one to get in a draft, I would say. And on the end, we have a skeleton token. Um, so I'll go through like normal if we were just doing a normal hack opening, and then I'll try and um, I'll see what I might, what I would uh, make a deck out of. I haven't drafted in years, so saying that it might be very poor. <laughs> Spiked pit trap. Shortcut Seeker. Start making new piles actually. Armory Veteran. Hired Vex Blade. Sylvian Shepherd. Dawnbringer Cleric. Secret Door. Priest of Ancient Lore. Never Winter Dryad. Air Cult Elemental. Green Dragon. Cridal of Borders. Boulders Gate. Sorry. It's a cool card. Lurking Roper. And we have Tasha's Hideous Laughter. I think that's worth a couple of dollars at the moment. I don't keep up to date on prices for stuff. Mountain and a goblin token. Not bad. So far, a little bit of a mix of our uncommons, commons. And one mythic so far. That was our second pack. On to our third. It's always interesting to think about um, what yourself what you would draft. Kick in the door. Because uh, obviously everyone has their preference. That was Leather Armor, Shambling Ghast, Scaled Herbalist. Everyone has their preferences for colors. Gloom Stalker. Scion of Stygia. Is it Stygia or Stygia? Warding Ogre. Fane Death. You hear something on watch. Owl Bear. Wild Shape. I read that one. Interesting. Reaper's Talisman. You find some prisoners. And Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. Other goblins you control get plus one, plus one. That could be um, pretty useful. Uh, and then we have a secret there card, treasure token. Interesting. So that was the third pack. Let me know what you think of the um, placemats I have been changing between the the blue one and the black one that I have, and I recently got this um, cork cork one that I wanted to try out. I don't mind it, but depends what everyone thinks of it. Paladin's shield, inspiring bard, planar ally, or planar ally. Lower Chondra, Dragon's Fire, Fate's Reversal, Circle of the Moon Druid, Celestial Unicorn, Jaded Cell Sword, Cleric Class, Wizard Class, 
power word kill. Interesting card. And treasure vault. There's the rare there. Then we've got a oil swamp. That is a nice card. And an island. And the token, no token. Nice. That was the fourth pack. So, uh, I'm not sure if you can tell, but I am just getting over a bit of a uh, cough that I had. I think in the last video, you could probably tell that I was a little bit sick. Here we go. Goblin Javelinia. Eyes of the Beholder. That's a, that's a really, I know it costs six, but target creature gets negative 11, negative 11 until end of turn. Swarming Goblins. Devour Intellect. Find the Path. Plus two Mace. Morden Canaan's Polymorph. Hobgoblin Captain. We have a module. Evolving Wilds. Priest of Ancient Law. Rust Monster. Faraday. Devil's Chosen. Legendary Creature. Iron Golem. And we have Instrument of the Bards. Legendary Artifact. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a Harmony Counter on Instrument of the Bards. Three and a green. Tap. Search your library for a creature card with mana value equal to the number of counters on this card. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. If the card is a legendary, create a treasure token, then shuffle. That's pretty good. And we've got a mountain and a theotropial. All right, last pack. So I'm not sure if those other ones, uh, the the foil cards in the see-through pack, are uh, also counted in the draft or, or the pre-release. Or no, I guess it's the draft. Like the if you can include those in your deck, that'd be interesting. Spare dagger. Thieves tools. Inspiring bard. Planner ally. Clever Condra. Dragon's fire. Fate's reversal. Baleful beholder. Jin. Wind Seer, Underdark Basilisk, Intrepid Outlander, Rally Maneuver, Split the Party, and a Varus Silvery Moon Ranger. One, two green, as a reach and ward one. Whenever you cast a creature or planeswalker, venture into the dungeon. These are only once each turn. When you complete a dungeon, create a 2 2 green wolf creature token. That is interesting. Island. We have a icing death frost tongue equipment card. So I might just have a look at the dungeon card so we can understand what is going on when it asks us to go into the dungeon. Okay, Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Is there more than one? It's a cave. 
I guess there is. Okay. That's interesting. Didn't realize there was multiple dungeons. Or maybe there isn't. I'm not too sure how it works. So we've got... Got Tomb of Annihilation. Each player loses one life. Ublet. Sky the card, sacrifice an artifact, creature, and a land. Cradle of the Death God, create the Atropal. So how do you tell which uh, dungeon you're going into? Cave entrance, scry one. Mine tunnels. Interesting. Yawning portal, you gain one life. Dungeon level one, scry one. Scry one. Yeah, I don't understand. Um, I guess obviously with each dungeon there would be drawbacks. There would be things that you want to do. So I will very quickly sort these into colors. I had a feeling that I might have enough cards to do um, maybe like a red, red green goblin, but we will see. So I will just sort these out, try to do uh, as little talking as possible, but just one second. move this into camera for you. Clean these piles up really quickly. Might make it a bit easier for me to put cards down. Alright, there we go.
put the multicolored with the uh, artifacts, which is funny enough. All right, so these are the piles. I think you can um, you can probably see that we have quite a number of green and red cards. Uh, white, blue, and then we have black cards, probably the least amount, maybe white. But I was thinking that I did see quite a number of goblins. So deals two damage to target creature planeswalker. That permanent is green. Burning Hands deals six instead. That's a maybe. Destroy target artifact. Exile the top three cards. Choose one of them until end of next turn. It's pretty good. Beast first strike. Gets plus two plus zero. That might go in the maybe. Goblin. Other goblins you control get plus one, plus one. Then you can tap and pay one red for a little bit of burn. Dragon's Fire. Reveal a dragon card. Choose. Deals three damage to target creature or planeswalker. If you reveal the dragon card. Deals damage equal to the power of that card. That's a maybe. We'll see if we have any dragons. So that's for treasure. It's also a maybe. As long as it's equipped, it has menace. Now that might be good because we did have a lot of artifacts. I'll put that over here. Sorcery put a 1-1 one, one can on target creature. Gains haste until end of turn. It can't be blocked. Enter the first room. Or advance to the next room. That's a maybe. So now that we have two of him, he's looking more viable. I'd say he's also looking a bit more viable because we have two of him. Another goblin. Whenever it becomes blocked, it deals one damage to target creature, blocking it. Dragon warrior. Swarming goblins, that's a maybe. Swarming goblins. When it enters the battlefield, roll a d20. 1 to 9, create 1. Create a 1-1 one, one goblin creature. Create 2 of those tokens, create 3. So I'd say that we want that. Goblin pack tactics. Never it attacks if you attacked with creatures. Total power 6 or greater. Against first strike. Not bad. So we have. I think if we find any green dragons, we might run. I mean, we might run this. Um, these dragon fires anyway. For just a bit of burn. Because you can target creature. It's always good for removal. So we're going to put those back over there. They're maybes. So far we've got red cards. So if the deck's 40 
and it's recommended that you have 17 lands. It means we just need 23 cards. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So, we need 13 cards. Let's have a look through green. I don't think there's any goblins in green, but there might be some instants to uh, buff goblins. We can always reach into artifacts. Search your library for up to two basic lands, reveal them, put them in, to put them in your hand. That might be good. So returning target permanent from your graveyard to your hand, you might want to spawn more goblins. There is a dragon creature, big fella. There's a maybe. Doesn't untap during your untap step. Whenever you gain life, untap. We aren't running life gain. That's a. That's a most likely no for that. Wild shape. Choose one until end of turn. Target creature you control has that base parent toughness. Interesting, but seeing as though we only have one, I mean, that could be a maybe. Intrepid Outlander. Reach pack tactics. So we get to venture in the dungeon again. I think that's we're gonna go probably no for that one for this one i think we will put this in easy to put it down for beginning so yeah, essentially you would want to hope that by turn four turn four you'd want to be able to start doing stuff with that varus I don't know if we're spawning wolves. Probably stay away from that. Inspiring Bard. Target creature gets two, two until end of turn. It's a bit expensive for our tastes right now. For a one, two, death touch. That's a maybe. Lizard Druid. You can tap. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Uh, probably not. We're not going for life gain. Not going for that. It's, yeah, I don't, I just don't know about that. I mean, a 1-3 is quite powerful. We'll see how we go after we, so we say no to all of these. Repair, no. Has tap, add two, but it's quite expensive to put down. All right, so from that we had one, two, three, four, five green cards. That isn't looking too good. I think we'll have a look. We'll base our deck off red for goblins, but we'll have a look at other ones. Uh, to see if there's anything worth getting. Wizard class. Split the party. Hideous laughter. That's extremely powerful. Untap target permanent, not named Clever Condra. Could be good. Let's have a quick look through all of these. Charmed Sleep, Shortcut Seeker, Secret Door, hmm. I've got two Clever Conjurers, I'm thinking we might stay away from blue, we're not looking for control at the moment, we just want to get a quick burn in. So, let's 
a look at some of these artifacts we have. 50 feet of rope. Target wall can't block. Target creature doesn't untap during its spell down. Okay. We aren't going blue black. We're not going blue red. Attacks each combat and it has vigilance. That might be good. Um, just to put down. That might be a maybe. That might also be good just to put in. As we are running red and possibly green, we could put one planes in there and it might just be a bit of a trump card. That could go as a maybe. Treasure fold. And then also we can spawn treasure tokens to get that white mana. Put that in. It's plus one. Plus zero has does one damage to any target. That could be worth putting in. Sacrifice for the white. For one, has a flash, and then you put it down. You'll eventually pay five. Mm. You do have a good chance of putting a treasure token down. Leather armor. Uh, that's interesting. We will do two spare daggers. And any of those chances we get to spawn a white mana. So I think if we go back through here, we have a bit of a bit of a spread of green, but I I do like the idea of getting um scaled herbalist, put a land. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Just wonder if there's any other. Because that means that we would be able to put down possibly more than one land a turn. <clears throat> so I reckon that that might put us close to having 23 cards. So one, two, three, four, four artifacts. One special land, one multi, that's five artifacts actually. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten reds. So five, seven, ten, we just need I'm not sure if you can hear, hear my dogs um, barking in the background. So if we have 17 at the moment, we just need, what, another six cards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got 41 cards. Um, ooh, ooh, you know what? You know what I forgot? Is that we would also most likely have the chance to use this Evolving Wilds crack that and get that planes that we need out if we want to throw down Minsk. So I reckon I would probably run this with the idea of getting a couple of goblins down. And um, it's not really a quick burn, but a somewhat quick burn with red, green, and then we can chuck in maybe two planes, one planes. We really only need one. Uh, one planes, and then we can put that down. Get some trample happening. And yeah. So that would be my idea. If you saw anything different, any of the other cards that you think would have been a better deck or would have made a better deck, um, let me know, definitely. If there's any cards that you saw that I kind of skipped over that were good yeah let me know leave a comment um apart from that that's about everything
we will open up actually this uh, pack. So I'll just put that deck over to the side there. And we'll open this up. Or oh, maybe it's just a single card with a code card. Yeah. Okay. So we have Orb of Dragonkind. I can't imagine that you wouldn't be able to use this. For one and a red. Pay one, tap, add two mana in any combination of colors. Spend this mana only to cast dragon spells or activate its abilities. For one red, tap, sacrifice. Look at the top seven cards. You may reveal a dragon card. Put them into your hand. Put the rest on your library in any in a random order. So, I mean, if we were allowed to, I'd probably put that in as well, just to get a dragon card. Just to get a bit of movement through the deck. And I might actually sleeve that. So that is a 2021 promo. Uh, promo Orb of Dragonkind. So, thank you so much for watching. Um... If you liked this style of video, let me know. I, I don't know how I feel about it yet. Um, I'm willing to do more. I do have other pre-release pack decks with the six boosters, so give it another go. Um, yeah, definitely leave a comment, leave a like. Uh, remember to subscribe if you like the channel. And let me know any ideas you have for future videos that you want to see. Thank you so much. I'll catch you next time.